Hey folks, I'm Pete, founder and chief notch of Great American Notch, where we live by the mantra, let's hear it, eat, drink, savor. Hello everyone, thank you for viewing my channel. If you are new here, thank you very much for joining us. We focus on food and beverage content, and beverages could be wine, spirits, beer, anything that an adult will drink. We also do uh, cooking instruction, we also do wine tasting, we want wine pairings, and we do some all kinds of food, beverage, and content spoofs and skits and things like that. Have a little fun around here. And if you have noticed, we've done a lot more shorts of late, which are kind of fun. Now, we are here today because, again, Karen, one of our Nosh Nation members. So what are we gonna do, do about today? Today we're actually gonna do some fundamentals. If you are just learning, or a young cook who really wants to start learning this craft, I'm gonna show you how to cut an onion my way. Not culinary school, not perfect, just enough to get the job done. And frankly, that's all you really need to do, unless you're getting judged on this stuff doesn't really matter. So basically what I have here is a red onion. I actually am going to make a kind of a nacho dish tonight with cheese and beef and stuff and I'm going to actually dice up this red onion as part of the mayo. So I'm going to show you what I do to uh, cut this onion into dice. So let's get going! So you got to make sure you cut this in half, right? I will show you what these parts are in a second. Okay folks, if you notice something here, see this section right here? That is the root end of an onion. See the little like hairs and stuff like that? Um, and then the top is actually the stem. So if you planted this in the ground, a stem, a green shoot will come out of the top. So the reason why I cut it in half through the root end is because this root end is actually going to hold your onion together while we cut it. So well, let's get cutting and I'll show you how I do it. So make sure you um, peel a couple of these layers off. You don't want the papery ends. Let's get this done the nosh way. So uh, we're gonna do a dice, right? The very important thing that you need to understand is with your non-cutting hand, you want to form a claw. Well, who's in charge here? The claw is very important so it protects so you're not going to do this with your thumb, okay? You're always going to hold your hand like this and use your knuckle as your guide, okay? So let's get, I'll show you the dice. So we're going to take this end off. So now it notice it hasn't fallen apart yet, or it's still good. Now, since there's already layers, there's thick layers in here. And culinary school, they have you sit, put your hand flat and then cut like this, cut like this, cut like this. All right, we're going to use, we're going to cut, not all the way through to the root end, but just a little bit. Okay, now, I'm going to use your finger, use your knuckles again. And when it starts getting a little shaky, what I do is I just twist it like this. And then use this little section right here. See? Ta-da! Okay, now if you're gonna do slices, same thing, but we're gonna actually take the root off this time, right? And then see these styrations, like right, these lines that go across the onions? You're gonna use that to our advantage. So basically, I'm gonna cut a section off, right? And I'm gonna lay it flat. And I'm gonna do this. Again, use your knuckles to protect your thumbs and your other fingers. And now you're gonna get all these nice little slices. And then for this section, we're gonna leave it like this, because it's very steady now. Notice how thin I'm getting these. And then when it gets a little bit shaky, I'm gonna do this. See, 
See now that last section is going to do that. So basically, I got all these nice slices, and I don't have to worry about cutting my hands. Hopefully, you enjoyed that quick tutorial on cutting onions. So look what we got here. I've got some diced red onion, and I've got some nice sliced red onion, and that took all of well, a few moments. That's it. No cuts on my hands. I kept my hands safe. And that's a great way to learn how to cut onions. It's not the culinary school way. They teach you, frankly, whatever. <laughs> uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Stick around for more informational programming and education and entertainment and however you want to call this. Eat, drink, savor!